Today, we're going to be looking at the Huntress buffs that are coming into the game on the PTB. More specifically, the fact that we can now run with two add-ons, Infantry Belt and Leather Loop, a total of 10 hatchets at once. On top of the fact that there is a newly buffed wind-up speed, as well as an increased movement speed when you're holding hatchets. I played a couple of games on the PTB, and let's just say they went exceedingly well. I hope you guys enjoy me showcasing this new Huntress buff. Let me know what you think. Is she too overpowered at this point? Or do you think that this buff was needed? Don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and feel free to follow me over on my Twitch channel, where I stream five days a week. Enjoy. Okay, we get RPD West Wing. So, as you can see in the bottom left of the screen, we have 10 hatchets. Look at the auras. Bing! Good start. Beautiful. Oh, I just missed her. That's okay, though. We've got plenty. What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, they DC'd. That's what they're doing. <laughs> as soon as they... Oh, two DCs. As soon as they realize I'm not playing the new killer, everybody doesn't want to play here. But you know what? It's fine. It really does, more than anything, just showcase how powerful the Huntress buffs are. We know where everybody is right now. I guess we can head up here. We'll go for the... We'll go for the... That is a regular survivor, actually. Perfect. I wanted to bring the auras in just to make the game go a little bit quicker. I really haven't even had the need to reload at the moment, either. That's the best part. All right, I guess we'll go back to the other hook over here. It's actually kind of insane just how much uh, of a buff Huntress has gotten for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. I will happily take it. As a fellow Huntress main, I will happily take any kind of buffs that we can get. What are they doing? Oh, okay. We'll grab you then. The two non-bots are on the floor right now. <laughs> this is unreal. This might be one of the quickest games you ever see. But yeah, they've basically changed and buffed. Oh, oh. <laughs> everybody has disconnected now. Literally everybody has disconnected. I am playing against AI. I am playing against artificial intelligence right now. <laughs> She's given up. Even the bot's given up. <laughs> what is she doing? And it's a GG. <laughs> Midwich Elementary School. Okie dokie. Where are the gamers? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? How on earth did I not hit her? Aha, we've seen her. She's a little sneaky gamer. Look at her with Urban Evasion. What are you doing? Oh, she's gone down here. Why? Why, Why have you gone down here? Lovely. See, we have literally gotten two kills. Sorry, two kills. We have literally gotten two hooks right now. And we are only five hatchets in. We still have five hatchets on us. That's actually kind of insane. So just to explain a few of the buffs that are going through right now. We literally have a base extra two hatchets to use, which is the exact reason why I can run ten hatchets. Hi! On top of that, the wind-up speed has gone way quicker. Hello! Can we get a little snipey wipey bing? Yes, we can! We see the other two over there, and she's running to the right, which means we are basically going to zone three survivors. I might even just try and get them while they're here. There they are. Well, there's one of them. Don't know where the other one went. We've only just used all ten of our initial hatchets that we spawned with. And I've gotten four hooks. Four. Okie dokie. And we got a lovely little trade in there as well. <laughs> nice try. Um, okay, it's just an M1 simulator right now. Hey, let me make that six hooks before I've gotten any single reload. Oh, no. Never mind. Five. We're going to reload now. Zero to ten. Beautiful. A couple of other buffs that they've given Huntress in this PTB for the time being, at least, is 10% faster wind-up hatchets, which I think is a very nice buff to have. But 
also, they've increased the movement speed that the Huntress has when she's holding a hatchet. I walk, I think, like half a meter per second quicker, which is absolutely nuts when you, uh, when you think about it. Um, it won't really work for certain loops. Well, it shouldn't work for certain loops like this. However, the idea is that I can keep walking forward through a pallet if they decide not to drop the pallet. And it will allow me to try and kind of not exactly catch up, but it will give me a little bit more wiggle room when I'm winding up and holding to try and, like, zone out survivors. Which is actually nuts. Ah! Uh, bless mine! Oh, scratch marks. Did they go in or out? Okay, well, you were caught red-handed. Beautiful. A wind-up value. Oh, hi. Have you given up? I think you might have. Cheeky reload. Back to 10. What I feel like made Huntress a lot more balanced than most other killers was the fact that she had that kind of countered ability of slowing her movement speed down when she was winding up a hatchet and holding the hatchet. And it allowed people to gain a bit more distance um, while a Huntress was trying to kind of zone uh, survivors at different pallets or different areas of the map, different tiles. And I feel like by increasing the movement speed, it's made it a little bit more difficult for survivors. She's had like a very big buff in that sense. Even without the extra hatchets, just by being able to hold more hatchets makes this killer a lot stronger with the extra movement speed. Hello? Hello? Oh, I whiffed. It's all right. She's going to walk out that way anyway. Lovely hatchet. Pre drop her? Nope. Straight over the top there. Lovely. On the stairs, maybe? No? I hear it in here. Slam! But yeah, overall, I feel like without the extra hatchets being added as well, I feel like the other two buffs with the wind-up speed and the movement speed increase when you're holding a hatchet has actually made her a lot stronger anyway. Having ten hatchets is insane, though. I am absolutely in love with this. I'm obviously very biased coming from a Huntress main myself, but nevertheless, it is very, very enjoyable. I'll let her go. I'll let her go. Go, go, go. Oh, thanks, Sable. Almost forgot her name for a second. <laughs> she left a little med kitten for me. So, to summarize, the two extra base kit hatchets that we're getting, I feel like is very nice. I feel like they could probably instead be adding more lockers onto dead zone parts of each map. This is kind of a band-aid fix by just giving us more hatchets, um, which I think for the time being is probably fine. I think the base kit wind-up speed is actually pretty good. I like the 10% increase, and um, it's good that they've adjusted the other two add-ons that already increase the wind-up speed to compensate for that. However, the one buff that I don't really understand is the base movement speed when you're holding a hatchet. I feel like that is a little bit overpowered, and they could probably tone that down, or even just reset it and revert it back to what it originally was, as I feel like this encourages Huntresses to just hold their hatchets, which makes the gameplay a little bit more boring for the survivors, as the idea of a Huntress holding her hatchet initially made her weaker, which allowed survivors to gain a bit of distance or be able to make their way around a loop, but we'll have to wait and see what behavior think in terms of whether they're going to keep these or maybe adjust the numbers a little bit. I can appreciate that behavior are actually trying to experiment with different buffs, um, with different killers though, to try and keep the game fresh and alive. And even though they're not really going to hit the mark each time, it's nice that they're willing to give it a go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy, and I will catch you in the next one.